overwhelming the, the amount of destruction. Just the total devastation that we saw in our hurricane is just overwhelming. You got people everywhere, they're just, their heart broke because everything is happening. They think that, you know, there's no, there's no light at the end of the tunnel. The ice storms, we have a lot of ice accumulation, brings down a lot of power outages all at once. So that's, that's the most challenging, probably the toughest I've worked in would be the ice storms, and I've worked in all the conditions, from hurricanes to tornadoes to, to hot weather as well. But I would say the ice storms is by far the most challenging. This year, when we went to Alabama, Arkansas, uh, tornado, wasn't but a mile wide, but it was, it, it was devastating. Miserable ice storms, or if it's raining out during your fifth, sixth day of the storm, you just soak from head to toe and working 18, 20 hour days straight getting physically tired and drained. Every uh, year it seems to be some major uh, weather event. You know, the linemen have a sense of pride when we load up in Oklahoma and uh, we start heading to uh, Richmond, Virginia, Miami, Florida, down in the Gulf there working for, uh, for different utilities. Now when, when the big storms hit, it's all hands on deck. Uh, everybody uh, loads up to go help them. The storm work has really, really been very important to restoring power and getting uh, uh, everything back to normal for the people affected. We've seen a lot of, a lot of devastation in, in our business, a lot of devastation, and you feel for those people that are part of that. So you do everything you can to, to ease their pain by working long hours and you know being as, as helpful and, and kind to them as you can. And a lot of them don't understand why you're there, but they know they want their lives.